Sometimes you stumble upon a Craigslist listing so bizarre, so absurd, that you can't help but question the sanity of the person who posted it. Well, hold on to your ass cheeks, folks, because today this shit's going everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Craigslist Gambler. Our mystery man is looking for someone to gamble for them in casinos, as they are no longer allowed to enter these establishments themselves. You know, just the average run-of-the-mill job opportunity. The ideal candidate for this opportunity has a valid ID and social, a running car, and clean piss. Actually seems like it would be a great gig for a homeless illegal drug addict. Just me. Old people and desperate people would be great as well. Anyone in the scammer category, anyone the scammers would go after, right there. Maybe a superhero with a gambling problem and a secret identity. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this too good to be true? Is it just plain crazy? Is this guy just going to rob me and then force me to wear a pink dress while he pours his tea? Well, that's exactly what I thought you'd say. Let's dive into this dumpster fire of a Craigslist listing. First of all, let's talk about the fact that this person is no longer allowed in casinos. What did they do to get themselves banned from these degenerative havens? Did they cheat? Did they cause a scene? Did they shit on the fucking floor when they lost? We may never know, but it certainly raises some questions about their trustworthiness. Next, let's consider the compensation for this gig. Half the profit for the day plus casino perks. Uh, while that might make sense if you don't think about it, there's no guarantee that you'll walk away with any profit at all, let alone enough to make this opportunity worth your while. You're more likely to grow two dicks out of your face than make money doing this. And finally, let's not forget the potential legal and ethical problems of this arrangement. Engaging in this gig could potentially send you to fucking jail for things like money laundering or fraud. Plus, there's the question of whether it's right to profit from someone else's gambling addiction. And if that's not enough, there's always the possibility that they could be a setup just to rob or potentially harm someone who responds to the listing. They could be trying to put your cheeks on them streets. In conclusion, while the listing might have seemed intriguing at first, it's important to consider that this dude is a fucking weirdo. And if it is true, he's still a fucking weirdo. So the next time you're scrolling through the internet and find stupid shit like this, keep scrolling and shed a single tear for humanity.